Hey everyone, Kathy here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to tackle a watercolor painting of a lovely sunset mountain. It'll be very simple and minimalist, incredibly easy to follow, so grab your paints and brushes or your favorite fur companion as you sit back and relax in our little cozy creative space. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more radiant videos like this in the future. Let's get to it. First, we're going to wet the whole paper with a spray, making sure the water is sufficiently soaked into the surface. Now I'm going to dip my brush into a mixture of permanent yellow deep, permanent yellow, and a bit of white, and brush it over the paper in this back and forth zigzag motion to create a nice yellow undertone for the painting. And I'm keeping the top half of the sky lighter than the bottom half. While the paper is still wet, I'm going to use the same mixture to define the silhouette of the moon and the mountain ranges. I'm adding a bit of French ultramarine to the orange mix and brushing it across the sky, wet on wet, in these long streaks to give the impression of clouds. So I'm adding these bands of cool gray and brownish orange and just brushing it down across the whole sky. Now I'm going back to my orange mix and blocking in the mountain. You'll see that the paint here has a very creamy, velvety consistency and not a whole lot of transparency to it. Before it dries, I'm going to brush in the French ultramarine mixture that we used earlier, this kind of umber color over the orange. Again, while it's still wet, I'm adding a bit more white and ultramarine to the mix and I'm going to paint the second mountain range, the mountains that are in the middle of this little trio. I'm going to add a bit of red to the paint mixture and brush it across the top of those same mountains. For the third mountain range, I'm going to use a dark mixture made with the same colors. 
and I'm varying varying the colors using a bit more red in certain areas, a bit more blue in others, and I'm also varying the weight of my strokes. So I'm brushing heavily over certain areas and keeping this middle area somewhat light to create a bit of a hazy effect. To finish it off, I added some tiny birds across the background, flying over the sky. And there you have it. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun because I certainly did. Take care of yourself. Take care of your box of sheep, and I'll see you in the next one.